Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's see what we have here for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do a couple of oracle cards, and then get into the reading, okay? Um, so Aquarius, I feel like there was a situation here where somebody was so impatient with wanting things to work out. They wanted forgiveness. They wanted to heal this. It was like this was all that they wanted. And then out of nowhere, someone's like, you know what? I don't really care. There's so many people in the world. What do I care? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here was looking at somebody like they were the end all be all. It's kind of like a switch though. You know, I mean, which I don't know if that's a positive thing or not, but someone here is like, no, you're the only one I could ever want in the whole world and the whole thing. And then someone's like, you know what, whatever. There's so many men and women in the world who cares, right? You know what? Um, so, you know, so, like someone's just like, you know what, who cares? But that's the energy that I'm picking up on here. So let's see what we have here for the Oracle. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Tell me about Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Believe in the impossible. Okay, so Aquarius, a time for healing. Um, Aquarius, if there's any sign that this card is meant for, it's you. Okay, because no matter how bad things seem, Aquarius, you're always going to believe that something amazing is about to happen. Okay, um, you know, you may be like, oh, I'm never going to find anybody that amazing again, or I'm not going to find anybody that will be able to, you know, do this or do that like that again. You know what I'm saying? I really love this person. But you're like, you know what? There's so many people in the world. I'm sure I'll find something, you know, even better. Right. You know, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians. Caring connection. Clarity guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. And sixth chakra. Aquarius, I feel like your intuition is telling you that there's just something great out there, something amazing waiting for you. Clarity guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages from my Aquarians. Deception and the vast universe. So I have to be honest here. I feel like one person was so dead set on wanting someone, so dead set on wanting to reconcile and make something right. And then out of nowhere, the switch happens and someone's like, you know what? Maybe this just isn't meant for me. This is a chapter of my life that I have to shut off. So I'm going to go off and be with a third. I'm going to go off and find someone else. And the problem here is Aquarius is because that happened so fast, it looks like someone was a liar. Like they didn't want it to work or they didn't, you know, oh, see, you've never loved me. You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. Look at how fast you're moving on. But, you know, Aquarius, you're just... You know, if this is you, okay, because this could be your person, you know, whoever is doing this is just simply kind of flowing with life. You know, they're accepting change, which is actually very, you know, healthy, I hate to say, you know, because um, I know it sounds harsh and cruel or whatever, but, you know, it's actually very healthy. Someone here is just like, you know what? Maybe something, God, the universe has something amazing for me, and that's why this isn't working out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go off and see what's out there. You know, uh, but it it's making somebody look bad. It's making somebody look like, wow, that's it. You're just going to move on. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about Aquarius, please. Okay, so we have, okay, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, we've got the phoenix in the reverse. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So Aquarius, I feel like you, someone here really did want to feel, heal this. They really did want to come back together in this connection. But, you know, once they realize that they don't want reconciliation, they don't want to rekindle with me, they don't want to work things out. Every time I try talking to this person, it's never enough. You know, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So, you know, Aquarius, someone's in this energy of, I did want to work this out, 
but you didn't want to reconcile because, you know, you said I wasn't enough. You were jealous. You were mad. You were upset. You were insecure. Whatever the case may be, you know, you didn't want me back. You didn't want to, you know, you didn't want to heal this. So if I go off and I start dating and I start pursuing other options, how does that make me the bad guy? You know, it doesn't make sense. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aquarius, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aquarius. So we've got children in the reverse and let your friends help you. Ask for and accept, accept help from others. I feel like with children in the reverse, I mean, th this is, first of all, there's no new beginning happening here. Okay. And second off, I kind of hear someone saying, you know, stop acting immature. You know what I'm saying? Um, so either there's no begin new beginning happening here. So someone's going to start going out with their friends and leaning towards the people that love them and going out and doing them. And another thing I'm seeing here is someone is saying, you know, stop being immature. Stop going around to all our friends and family and telling them that I'm being deceptive when you didn't want to reconcile. Do you see what I'm saying? Tell me about Aquarius, please separation in the reverse time apart from your partners on the horizon you see this person didn't really um want to separate but at the same time they were playing hard to get and someone got tired they're like all right listen if you don't want to reconcile that's fine but i feel like someone might be acting very immature going around to friends and family um telling them all these things or whatever the case may be and there's a sense of like why are you telling people that you're the one who didn't want to reconcile you know um, so we've got the Seven of Swords here. We've got the Eight of Wands. What do we have here for Aquarius, please? Ooh, okay. We've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And we have the Six of Cups. Aquarius, I got to be honest with you. I feel like someone is going around telling people that you're a liar, that you're a cheater, or, you know, Aquarius, I don't know, you might be doing this. Someone here is operating from a place of fear and anxiety. Their mind isn't stopping. They could be making these calls late at night, you know, because they can't sleep. Um, we could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. This is someone that's truly trying to gain control over their emotions. Um, with the Six of Cups, you know, this could be the ex, or it could also be a representation that they're going to family, friends, people that you know. With the Fool card and the Ten of Wands, um, I feel like someone here can't handle the fact that you're moving on or um i feel like someone here is overwhelming overwhelmed with you know wanting a new beginning or overwhelmed with the fact that you're going out and having a good time tell me about the seven of swords here please for aquarius the nine of wands tell me about the eight of wands for aquarius and the five of swords so you see someone here is very hurt that you finally gave up and walked away um they're really hurt that you gave up and now they're starting to chase you which you know doesn't make sense because you waited to fix this you know you did the right thing for a minute you did the waiting 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 thinking about them thinking about the past fighting for the connection until you know you realize that it's just i'm not going to keep begging you know i'm not going to keep fighting for something that you don't want nine of swords here and then the knight of cups in the reverse so what happened was when someone stopped apologizing and coming forward and begging to get back with somebody that's when the anxiety kicked in someone's like wait a minute where did they go oh don't don't move on i don't want to really break up okay well then why are you acting this way like you know it doesn't make sense someone here is starting to wake up to the fact that aquarius you might have moved on tell me about the king of cups here the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Cups here for Aquarius and the Five of Wands in the reverse. So you see someone here is starting to realize that you're no longer fighting for the connection, okay? And now they're going around telling people that you're a liar, cheater, that you never really love them. Um, I feel like this person it wants to hold on to this connection in any way that they can, but hey, you tried, Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? What, what more can you say or do, you know? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. What messages do we have here for Aquarius, please? Clarity, guidance. Okay, so we've got um, the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Well, okay. 
Yeah, we've got the, the tower here. We've got the judgment card in the reverse and the four of pentacles. Aquarius, I mean, it's very simple here. Um, I feel like someone here wanted the relationship. They were sorry. They said, listen, let's try to make it work. But with the Ten of Swords in the Tower, someone here finally just accepted, okay, it's over. It's not coming back together. Four of Pentacles, the Judgment card in the reverse. This person just doesn't want to give anything else to the relationship. They don't want to give it another chance. So I'm going to go start a new beginning elsewhere. I mean, what is wrong with that, right? And this person is now bugging out, okay? Tell me about the lover's card here for, yeah, see, six of swords. You know, someone here tried to be like, okay, can we, you know, move on from this? Let bygones be gone, bygones, heal the situation. Five of cups energy here, please. Uh, and the three of wands. I, I feel here that someone was very disappointed. I feel like the person that moved on was very hurt and disappointed that, you know, their person wasn't missing them or that their person didn't want to reconcile. So someone here started realizing, okay, they really don't want me. Okay. So with the two of swords and the queen of wands, someone here had to make the difficult decision of, okay, well, I guess I'll go out and party with a friend or, you know, the, the queen of wands, Leo Sagittarius energy could be you know, them dating just someone very hot, very good looking, very fun. Someone here is just going out, you know what I'm saying? And having a good time. Tell me about the uh, tower here for Aquarius. And we've got the four of wands in the reverse. You know, someone here is realizing, okay, I'm not in a relationship anymore. This isn't coming together. And now someone, you know, Aquarius, there you are. You know, king of swords, seven of cups, and the page of uh, swords. You're, you're out online looking for people, getting to know people, going out with friends. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're just sitting there doing you. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, two of pentacles, three of cups. You're dating multiple people, juggling because, you know, the person that you wanted it's dead there's no new beginning so what's wrong with that you know there's nothing wrong with that um four of pentacles and the judgment card in the reverse four of pentacles yeah i feel like you know once you realize that this person doesn't feel the same you know what i'm saying your intuition told you to go out and go find someone i mean what are you supposed to do kill yourself because this person doesn't want to reconcile that's crazy um so let's see here the challenge here we've got the ten of wands we've got the two of swords and the three of pentacles the challenge here is that somebody was getting tired they were getting tired of someone waiting to make a decision um to work it out so either they were getting tired for someone to make a Either they were getting tired of waiting for someone to make a decision or they were getting tired of being told no. Like someone here was being blocked. Someone here was being cut off. Anytime, you know, there would be a phone call made of, hey, do you want to work it out? Do you want to go talk to somebody? Do you want to go to counseling? The answer would always be no. So someone's like, okay, I'm going to go, you know, somewhere new. Tell me about the outcome here for Aquarius. The outcome for Aquarius. Oh boy. Okay. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Someone here is bitter, cold, scorned, vengeful, spiteful. Sun card here. Leo energy. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Hierophant. Um, so because this person got burnt and scorned and rejected, now they're realizing that they want this relationship back. Yeah. Now, now they're realizing that they want this. Now their 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 intuition is telling them that yeah, no, this is the person that I want. You know. So whether you want to take them back or not, you know what I'm saying, is completely up to you. Because Aquarius, from what I'm seeing here, this person may come in now with an apology, um, telling you with the wish fulfillment that you're all that you know they, that you are all that they want. But with the Nine of Pentacles and the Death card in your mind, this is already over. You know, you're single, looking good, feeling good. You know, you're doing fine on your own. Scorpionic energy here. So you know now now the balls in your court Aquarius what do you want to do you want them back or do you want to go keep pursuing different options um you know this person's games backfired okay all right guys I love you and take care bye